First impressions of Sandra Strong? Surprisingly, I found um, the environment, the base, um, lovely. Um, I had been told that uh, it was a pretty area. Um, I frankly didn't believe it until we started flying in. I came in from Thule, so I had my, my reference point was Thule, which um, made Sandstrom look uh, extremely beautiful. All right, sir, thank you. Do you have uh, any special comment that you'd like or message for the people here at the Sandstrom community? Yes, I do. Um, Sandstrom um, is really going to um, lead the community uh, off in a different direction. Uh, we're going to try something at Sonnestrom that Space Command has not done. We're going to try to reduce the blue suit uh, presence at Sonnestrom and at the same time continue to provide the outstanding support that uh, has been given in the past to the dew line sites. Uh, and that's going to be very interesting. Um, Space Command hasn't done it before. And we're going to be on the leading edge of that. And it's going to be up to this community to not only plan it, um, but make sure all the pieces fit together. And uh, that in January or whenever, if it's in fact January, that we uh, pull out of all, all of our blue suitors, um, that this base is prepared to continue to operation at the same um, outstanding level it has in the past. Thank you very much, sir, and good luck to you and your new command. A reception followed at the Fox and Hare Club, putting the final touch on the today's Assumption of Command. For AFTV8, I'm Air Force Sergeant Debbie Tharp. September 19th marked POW MIA Day, and members of the Sonderstrom community participated in a retreat ceremony, honoring those who so courageously sacrificed for their country. Senior Airman Scott Gomer has that story. On Friday, September 19th, we set aside a special day to remember our fellow soldiers and their families. POW MIA Day is a day of hope. 1015th Air Base Group Commander Lieutenant Colonel Harriman spoke of freedom and our commitment to service of our country. This day is to recognize and honor returned prisoners of war from all wars. We owe a special debt to our fellow citizens who have given up their personal freedom in the service to their country. At the same time, we honor prisoners of war from all wars and from the allied nations who gave their freedom in the defense of democracy. We remember, remember especially those MIAs in all conflicts and the special burden that being an MIA places on the family, relatives, and friends. In your prayers, I ask you to remember the families of those MIAs that are still MIAs, and also remember the United States government in its effort to resolve the MIA issue of those persons who are missing from the war in Indochina. As we conduct this formal retreat ceremony in remembrance of our POWs, former POWs and MIAs, I encourage you to reflect on the special responsibility and obligations that we have accepted when we put on the uniform to serve your country. On September 19th, America remembers with POW MIA Day. For Sandy Spotlight, I'm Airman Scott Gomer. Because of the weather, we noted Fire Prevention Week a month early here at Sonderstrom Air Base. More about that coming up. Fire Prevention Week was recognized at Sonderstrom Air Base during the week of September 7th through the 13th. Events included an open house at the fire station, several extinguisher demonstrations around base, a fire prevention lecture at the Danish school, a structural fire at an old building at the fire pit, and the big event at the open house, the fire hose competition. Two teams squared off trying to direct the spray so the canister would end up on the opponent's side. Throughout the week's planned events, the primary message for the 1986 fire prevention campaign remained, learn not to burn, it really works.